morning everyone. Tonky, you probably won't see me. Not light, not enough light. As the, you might hear me, but um, oh, the sharks here this year have just been horrendous. I've been coming 26 years, and where I normally fish, it's not too bad, but they've just been horrendous. Sort of nearly half not worth fishing because they're just smashing all your gear and you're losing good fish. Now look at that. Beautiful on that cloud formation. Out over Penny, how calm is it today? A little two metre croc crawled into the water hole last night. Yeah. That funny cloud, look at it. But anyway, we'll persist. I'll be here. I've left home. Uh, I haven't been posting, like I said, because of the sharks. Just getting a feed. And um, been away from home two weeks. Oh, nearly two weeks tomorrow, actually. Here. Yeah, so beautiful. The old sun's daylight coming. Beautiful. I'll switch this off and get a photo. You might see that little crocs crawling there. Two meter. Hey, there's two in the little lagoon there. See where he's going down the bank. Yeah, I don't know if he's crawled in or crawled out. I think he's crawled in. Yeah, he's crawled in. Hey guys, Tonk here. Went out for another morning sesh. Uh, got some nice fingeries. And some grunter. Yeah. Didn't think we we're going to catch anything, but we're glad we did. <laughs> now we got to clean them. Ah, here's old Rex over here, he don't like being on. <laughs> hey guys, look at that, that's what I'm having for dinner. Wings and backbones cut out and all the prickles cut off them. How good's that, eh? Can't wait to get them down the guts. Should be bloody good. Righto, catch us later. Central. Uh, Rex and I are packing up. <laughs> Here he is, at it over there. Oh, I'm just talking to the camera. <laughs> Got everything packed up. Rex is ready to roll. 
Head down the road today. But flopping sharks, my lord, they chased us out. May never return to that bad. I just got to put the mesh over and uh, tie it down. And the old trail is full. I haven't posted much because I haven't been catching many fish. Sharks have been flogging us. Might start posting, um, putting a bit of stuff together now that I'm travelling to new territory here in a day or two. Uh, oh well, catch his later. The uh, see on the road, I'll uh, I'll film uh, I'll film us if we get bogged on the way out later. <laughs> Not <laughs> catches. Rick's going. Let him get going and get the dust down. We just pump the tyres up. Off to Weeper. I'll uh, probably stay with him down to Mariba and then I'll head out to uh, oh, uh, where they have the bloody uh, Marvel. Oh, I can't think of the name of the place. Uh, oh, I was out there years ago. Um, Inland from bloody Mariba. Chiligo. Go out to Chiligo and across that way. The road's open. All right. Catch us later. Hey, oh, that was the quickest. I've got a King's double thumper. Oh, baby. Come on down. She pumped them tyres up. Don't know how long it'll last. She hadn't caught fire yet. Cooled her off a bit before I put her away. But holy heck, she had them up. Normally used to take me an hour or more. An hour and a half with the little one. Anyway, off to Weeper. Morning. Camp Zulu. Or Camp X-Ray. On the way home. I'm up near Weeper. There's a car coming down the road. He's hooking in. We just pulled off the bitumen road there, little turn in. How good's Kate York for camping? Rex is camped there. My old girl. I forgot to show you, but I hooked up the Glind Hot Water. Had a nice hot shower last night. Well, a warm shower. Well, sorry, Mr. Glynn, but when. My big aluminium radiator making the old girl run cool. Your thing needs to be about another 40 or 50% capacity <laughs> to bloody make it warm. But you just let it run for a while into the tent, into the drum. I'll show you. I'll hook it up again one day. But, uh, yeah. Just going to have some brekkie and head down the road. Um, what's today? Sunday? Monday? Oh yeah? Been on the road four weeks. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Should I get it in Mariba today? Got to go around the op shop and buy a flopping, um, Blanket, <laughs> it's getting cold. Been sweating most times, but gee, it was cool here. We're only just below Cohen a few kilometres. Um, yeah, all right. Catch us later. Morning, guys. It's Tonk here. Um, yeah, a uh, bit of an update. I never filmed a lot up the Cape because it was uh, when I was out fishing, like I said, the, the sharks flogged us. Um, Rex and I just got the willies with it. Uh, so it's just the policy is just completely wrong. These greenies going on about and scientists going on about sharks and dangers. What a load of horseshit. Hey, uh, I've never seen anything like it. In fact, I reckon it'll, uh, uh, if they don't do something about it, no one will be really bloody bothered going up there. It's fishing. I suppose that's what they want. They don't care. They shut it down. They don't care if fishermen don't go, they just want the tourists to come, spend their money in motels, 
don't worry about catching any fish. But uh, anyway, we end up pulling the pin and coming home. I oh, nearly had four weeks up the penny. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, anyway, change of plan. I was going to go up, uh, keep going around the Gulf, but I got back to uh, Mariba and uh, Burke Development Road was closed, so I couldn't go across there to uh, Karumba. Um, and then I thought, uh, my mate was telling me that the other road's pretty wild, which wouldn't have worried me, but uh, and um, where I was going wasn't open yet. So, and I've been, we've been home a week tomorrow. And um, I have heard that there is a few vehicles got up into McGowan's fishing camp in the Kimberley. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, I changed the plan now. I've come home. Um, I've uh, unloaded my gear, got rid of, took the 100 litre trailblazer out, got my fridges, fishes in the freezer. And now I've changed it over. And what I've done, and this is why I don't run drawers, because I can just swap and change. The uh, lithiums are in there, the 2140 giant lithiums. They're going good. Uh, this November will be two years old. Haven't missed a beat. Uh, I'm not running a bloody shunt or anything to tell me what they're doing, but if they're, if they're 13 point, they get up above around 13.7 to 14.4 through the day with the solar panels they go through the night no trouble at all with the three fridges i had the kings running on this old that's 95 and the 100 they'd run on the three she'd run them all night no worries and uh what i've done now is this has got me um i've swapped over to these tactic boxes from bunnings and uh they got all me tucker in them and uh, that I want to, because I'm going to WA, I want to have it, the food all just here at the back so when I go through the quarantine station um, they can check me fridges, be two fridges, my 90, this one here will be sitting just there and uh, I'll put the tins on the bottom and uh, UHT milks and anything like that I can take and you're allowed to take anything frozen like me meats and that that's still from up Cape York my sausages and corned beef and all that um, I'll just reuse that take it with me but uh, yeah I'll have me tin tucker my UHT me flour you just I won't have any uh, fresh veggies or anything and honey can't take any WA so they'll want to check so there'll be me tucker will be just here then a just 20, 20 litre water can either sit there and another one in between there in the fridge I've just got to put uh, forget what goes there oh my oil I've got to find somewhere for me oil I had it sitting just there I don't know if it's going to fit there now I had to change things around a bit so the oil might have to go behind the seat uh, just for an oil change again I just run that uh, mobile stuff that took the place of the Keltex tell Keltex had a hiccup there and didn't want to do oils or some rot and now they're back in and then they want you to go back and buy it anyway um, I'm just uh, changing it around so but I think that'll work well and I've uh, thinned my keg down a bit more I've had to fix, I fixed this door. I know she's wild, but she's this here was cracking out. So I've put a piece of aluminium on the inside with sicker on it. And and then a piece of alum, uh, bit of three mil alley strip along here um, with a heap of sicker under it. All screwed in with self tapping screws straight through the, the both of them into the plate and then the back. And all sicker around this, around this. That'll just keep it as one big, it'll sort of all just glue it together. But it's taken about, oh, it's only just starting to go off. It's been, buddy, a week, five days. She's only just starting to go off. 
because it's cold. Oh, and then I had to fix this thing. She was steak, it was cracking. So I sickered a little bit of two mil alley across that and, and sickered up the cracks. So I can, when you get it out of the fridge, it, it's a bit more, bit more stiffer. Bloody had a big crack there, so hopefully that stopped that cracking. Um, yeah, I don't know. Actually, me oil might even just sit here. I'll have a look. I'll fit them in there. Uh, and then I've gone through, I had to go through the Toyota, this, give her an oil change, check the gearboxes, gearbox and the transfer and drain the oil in the front diff, it had a bit of water in it. I think it was left over a bit of water from when I changed it before I left and a little bit of residual moisture that's in it, it contaminates the oil again and it might take three or four oil changes in a, this, uh, is that one? No. Which one was it? This one, this wheel bearing was a touch loose, so I just nipped him up. Otherwise, your buddy heel, it heals and toes your tyres. Oh, and I swapped the tyres. I brought the back tyres to the front, front to the back, because it just keeps them bloody. Looks like uh, makes them tread. Keeps good tread on the back, good tread on the front. Um, yeah, that's about what I had to do. Uh, yeah, so everything's sort of right on the truck again. Like I said, I just run that 60 litre Kings, uh, 50 litre Kings. It's going all right. Uh, up the Cape, it was struggling a bit, but uh, that was only my fault because I didn't have it turned up because it's got two settings. I've got an Eco and, uh, and uh, oh, some other bloody something that's called Max, Eco and Max. So I was running on an Eco and it just doesn't like the heat too much. Oh, and I thought I lost this set of keys. Found them, they were laying in, in the truck. And it, it's got all my bloody outboard keys on them for the 60. Lucky I had another, I think I said, I got another key on the other key. I keep split, split them for that, just things like that. I've got one new key on my start key and that key is a different key for the back door. Yeah, hey, uh, I'll just turn this off. Like I said, I changed my plans. I was gonna buddy have uh, the um, gonna drop my rifle and freezer off. Friends and, and folk I know in Darwin. This way, I can just when I come home, it's gonna save me doing 1,200 k's going from Catherine to Darwin four times. When I go up, I'd have to drive up there and back, and then. Uh, um, and this, and I just thought I'd come home. Got the old girls packed up here, a bit ready. She's got all the stuff in her here. Uh, Taking another three flopping 20 litre drums for fuel, to, just in case I don't have enough fuel. I might do a couple of the roads, might have to swap over to diesel later on. I check the wheel bearings, check the wheels up. Check the wheel bearings for play, just on the wheels, you just rock them. And my spring went really well, it stayed there and the spare tyre didn't snap off. Just got to bleed the brakes again. Somehow they've got a bit of air in them, I think. Not sure what happens on the rough roads. These uh, PBRs on the rough roads, they, um, they spill. They leak out a bit of oil, they're out of them all the time. So then it gets down and they suck a bit of air. So uh, you've got to keep, keep an eye on them, top them up, so they don't get air in them. And then the fuller you have them, the more they leak. Um, but yeah, but I'm getting ready for the corrugations of the Gibb River Road. So I've, uh, so the dash doesn't fall out of it. I've uh, put a bit of, you just squeeze them apart and stick a bit of Sikaflex in between all the bits of gaps. And that just stops your, your dash, your front coming out. Uh, I've done these. See, this one's pretty tight. Bit of sick is great. I don't know if it shows you that, but got my shovels up in there, and then I've got a bit of tie wire, drill a hole for him, a bit of tie wire him, so he doesn't fly forward. Um, 
yeah, just little ideas I come up with, uh, cheap ideas, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying about the, uh, I don't think I finished explaining. Yeah, so I, um, this way I just come home, got rid of my gear, got rid of my rifle, it's back in the safe. Um, I'm a licensed shooter, so no worries there, but uh, now I can just go straight from here, straight up to bloody Catherine, but I'm thinking of doing the bucking, bucking, bucking Nam Highway, turns off and cuts off about, oh, must be 300 k's of the corner going to Catherine, and it goes across a dirt road. I think I'm doing, I'm finding out whether that one's open, and I might do that, cut that corner off. Um, and it pops out over near Gregory or somewhere like that or getting over further before you get to the border I think so hopefully I'll be able to do that one it's just a bit different I have to let the tyres down and all the rest of it that's alright I've got the buddy big double thumper now uh, as long as it keeps going I'm pretty impressed with it because I can what I do is you might have seen you'll see because I've got twin batteries one on each side I clip her on here and she sits there and it's got enough hose that'll reach the bloody back tyres of the boat and do all the truck tyres. And, um, gosh, it pumps them up. I can do the whole bloody truck in 10, 10 minutes. It's that. It used to take me an hour and a half with my other little compressor. So, yeah, hopefully she keeps working. I've got to spray a little bit of CRC around it because I pour water on it to cool it down. So and she needs a little bit of something on her just to combat that in case she goes rusty. But uh, So I'm leaving the 100 litre home this time. Got to take all this stuff again. But yeah, I'm just about ready to blast off as soon as I uh, things are ready. And uh, so I'll go up there for a month or six weeks, I suppose. Uh, just head me way up there, up to McGowan's. And it's quite funny, a friend, Russell Litzo, his mates, uh, friends are running the uh, McGowan's fishing camp this way, managing it. The rafters, I think their last name are. So yeah, I'll go up and introduce myself. and Because uh, I know Karen and Russell Litzo, they'll probably bloody charge me double. <laughs> yeah, you know, the mates' rates plus, plus a bit. I might even... Um, throw a strap in this time, a spare strap, in case one breaks. I'll just pull that out in the open, I'll have that there. And uh, I don't carry a spare one, but I bloody might this time, because uh, just in case, it might just come in handy. Uh, yeah, no, I just, uh, like I said, I changed the engine oil, new filters. Blew out the air cleaner, so I'm just waiting, waiting to go. Uh, like I said, I heard it is heard that there's about ten vehicles. Five went to each, or ten went to one. Or McGowan's or Honeymoon Bay. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Like I said, it's been 36 years since I've been there. Uh, 1988. But, uh, okay, I'll um, see you on the road. I'll film a bit more this time because it's sort of when I go up north of Weep at the Penny there, I don't like giving them too much away because uh, it's sort of like my backyard and I reckon the less said about it the better but uh, this, this trip will be totally different I'll be able to I'll give, call in every day and give you a bit more of a rundown because uh, what I love about the place so far is you don't have to book no booking, you just turn up there's plenty of room, good water they said showers Bloody toilet blocks. So, yeah, that'll be great. Um, all right, catch you later. See you on the road somewhere. It might be in a week, next or, or so. But uh, yeah, you'll, I'll head off here one morning early and just poke on up. Right up. How you like that, eh? No bloody drawers. I can pull all that out and put a load of wood in there, cart drums stacker back in I can have different configurations you would have seen how I would have had the 100 litre trailblazer here the other one and that one yeah just uh, it's too limiting bloody drawers it's just rubbish as far as I'm concerned but anyway cheerio
Hi guys, Tonk here. Um, this is the afternoon before. Packed up, hooked up. The old girl. Um, I'm ready. I'm heading to bloody heading to uh, WA this time. This is part stage two of my trip. Um, yeah, she's uh, just got to wash in a few clothes. I head off early in the morning. She's fueled up, ready to go. Just got to swap the fridge over in the back. Uh, I, I have one fridge working on the on the uh, off the truck, and then the uh, DC DC just charges the lithium. But yeah. So anyway, you probably see me in the morning on daylight. Uh, the old girl. I put uh, check the brakes and like I think I, I think I filmed it. I put a second hand set of bloody brake pads in her that I had laying around here. And look down a bit. I'm carrying another. I'm the ones that come out. I'm carrying with me, and I the ones on the truck are down a bit too. So I thought, oh well, I got to had a set of older ones in the shed here. I put them in too. And surely between the two of them, they'll do uh, eight or ten thousand k's. What I'm going to do in this trip. So yeah, I was going to go Monday, but I'll go. I'll go tonight if it's not pouring rain. Oh. Typical door, two front doors. The back one's just closed, beautiful. The front one's got to slam the ass out of them to get them to shut. Ah, oh, I like to get the key down, lock that. Oh, well. okay. I'll catch us tomorrow. See you. So I put my gear in and uh, I'll be up the road somewhere. I'll probably. Who knows with me, probably get the bloody friggin' long reach or Winton somewhere tomorrow. And then drive through the night a bit. Pull up and have a snooze. Catch it.